It's been a closed door security meeting as the retreat for senior police officers hits day three. After about three hours, journalists are still not allowed access into the hall as the police seek new ways to deal with emerging and prevalent crimes in the society. After a few more hours, journalists are finally let in briefly. The Inspector General says this sensitive security strategy retreat is geared at collecting stakeholders' feedback and repositioning the Nigerian police force for the 21st century policing in order to serve Nigerians better. The community policing uh, initiative is on course. Um, we've informed members of the public on the, on the idea and our plans to roll out community policing and we set up committees and sat down and um, streamlined the implementation strategy and the report has been given to the government and we are now in the process of deployment. The government has provided us with all that we asked and we're in the process of deploying it now. This retreat, at the end of it, what the public should expect from the police is an improved service delivery. From the, from the police because um, there are areas that we brought members of the public, they spoke to us, they told us you are not doing well in so, so, so areas. One of the media stakeholders and chairman Channels Television, John Momo, applauds the police force but chides it on poor communication with the Nigerian masses. We want them to create a brand, a new brand of the Nigeria police force so that when we see the police uh, we will uh, we'll be very happy and we will warm ourselves towards them. They themselves will re re reciprocate and we can always go to them for anything. Some police commissioners describe the retreat as both invaluable and timely, especially as year 2020 draws close. We have been taught on modern data anal analysis, how to use statistics to fight crime and how to use high technology in solving crime issues. This is more about uh, capacity building. And I must confess, I am more rejuvenated. When I've rested very well from the stress of daily policing, so I'm going back refreshed to implement what I've gathered from here. It is hoped that this security meeting will help contain violent crimes, armed robbery, kidnapping and terrorism across the country. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.